Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of my Replicator 5 uh, conversion to Clipper and to more standard hardware I guess. Uh, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone and uh, yeah this is going to be the final video here in uh, the Replicator conversion so as you can see here we have this all finished up we have Clipper screen running here at first glance, it really just looks like a stock replicator, which is really cool. Um, I've just mounted my Bowden extruder kind of wherever I wanted, and that's kind of the reason I went Bowden. Um, whatever extruder you have, you can mount it on the back corner here. You can zip tie it like I did here. There's tons of different options. I mean, you could really mount it to the side if you wanted to. So that's really great there. You can see that... Uh, we're printing here just fine. The prints are actually quite nice, really happy with that. Um, so this printer doesn't use end stops. The MakerBot uh, Replicator 5 does not have end stops at all, so I am using sensorless homing with Clipper, which does work pretty well. Of course, you can see I'm using BL Touch there for auto leveling. Uh, again, there's no um, end stop for the Z, so I added BL Touch there and that works fine. Um, hopefully you can see there, you can see some example prints, um, they're very, very nice. It's quite a nice printer. And I'll show you the back here again. As I said, I ran my USB cable through here and also my power wire for my Raspberry Pi. Um, the Raspberry Pi actually sits right behind here. There's a decent amount of room right back here, so this is where the Raspberry Pi sits. And that's what uh, my screen is connected to via that ribbon cable in part two. But yeah, really awesome. Uh, printer so far, and uh, yeah. That'll wrap up this project for the most part. Um, like I say, I will put the STL files, the printer config, all on GitHub so that people can uh, do this modification if they want. Like I say, gets rid of the junk smart extruder and you can run any groove mount extruder you want right now. Um, so hopefully this will bring back some life into some Replicator 5s. Maybe other people are having issues with theirs or they're just sick of the extruder and software and all that kind of stuff. Um, even though I have clipper screen here, I of course do have uh, web control as well. So, yeah, that's a wrap for this project, everyone. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please, if you have any questions, comment below. And uh, thanks, and I'll see you again.